I came along in time to plug Hudson. I'll bring him back to Kurtz's place. But be careful. Hudson's men may have taken over. I wanted to fight it out, but House made me hide in the chimney. Where's the pear trunk? In the chimney. You know what? When Hudson and his outfit moved in here, House acted like he was an old friend of theirs and went along home with him. I don't get it. What do you think made House rat on us like that for? Shut up. VR to HB. VR to HB. Come in, Brandon. The poker mine deal was a frame-up. Hudson came here instead. But everything turned out all right. I ran into him on the way back. We had it out, and I shot him off a cliff. Good. What about the Paratron? They didn't get it. By the way, House pulled a fast one and went over on their side. Looks like he's trying to save his skin. Maybe he's smaller than you're giving him credit for. But take on him. You'd better clear out of there right away. Where'll we go? Go to the pocket mine. After what happened today, no one will ever suspect. shot me. I, I fell off the ledge in the river. That's what you get for running away without me. Half inch slower and you wouldn't have been here. Come on, let's go home. Here, crate the radio, too. Okay. You ain't gonna take all them explosives and ammunition, are you? Why not? Why, this don't even make a dent in what's left down there. Let me take a look. Guess you had more of that stuff than you thought you had, huh? Certainly can't move an arsenal like this today. You gonna leave it here as is? Yeah, until later. You sure you got all the parts for the paratron? All packed and on its way. Well, we gotta get moving before some of Hudson's outfit comes snooping around again. Right.
How is he? I'm all right, Pop. Oh, playing possum to catch a little sleep, eh? No, I was just thinking of poke at mine. How'd the deputy come out up there? Not so good. The trap backfired. Although the deputy shot four of the outlaws, but none of them lived to tell nothing about the others. Oh, that's all right. We know where the hideout is anyway. What time is it? Twenty after ten. Hmm? Well, I gotta get out of here. Jim, please. No, I gotta get back to that hideout before those outlaws leave and remove that evidence. You rest. Yes, try to keep him quiet at least until morning. I don't think you can keep him down longer than that. You will notice here how I've broken down the atomic structure of the energized quartz. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is my own conception of the structure. Later facts may prove me wrong. Oh, I see. A working hypothesis. Exactly. Oh, are you tired? Oh, no, no. Please, go on. I had another version of the same problem. It was here someplace. You two still have? Well, it takes a lot of time to bring Dr. House up to date on the development of the paratron. Dr. Miller has made such great strides. Since you're in the mood to talk sharp, I'd better be going. No, wait a minute, Bill. Don't go. I want to ask you advice about something. Where is? Dr. House is very doubtful about our chances of getting back the stolen paratron. He suggested that we start working on another. What do you think? That's entirely up to you. Well, I hate to keep imposing. Well, I don't want to hear any more talk like that. You stay here as long as you want and do what you want. Thank you, Bill. How's Jim? Oh, he'll be all right in the morning. At least I hope so. Because he'll want to go to the Kurtz Ranch to look around whether he's well or not. You lost a bet. Just like I figured you lost a bet, Jim won. Jim, you said we couldn't reach the crystal quartz from the lower level, and we went and did. And it's getting bigger all the time, too, just like big streaks of lightning. And I do mean lightning. I've got to see this with my own eyes. This is right up your alley. I'll get Jim. You leave Jim alone. We'll tell him in the morning. There she is, boys. Well, there's enough quartz there to charge a hundred paratons. If you would properly, that could make a country the most powerful in the world. You know, the quartz on the lower level might be even stronger. I wonder if Grizzly's got a specimen of it yet. I'll go and see. Rocks wants to see you at Stash Cash tomorrow. Okay, Brandon, that Jim Hudson will be at the Kurtz Ranch in the morning. Okay. Doctor, do you want to help me analyze what? I don't know. What'd you see? Somebody was snooping around the lab. You told me to shoot even if it was one of our own boys. That's right. Go check the bunkhouse and see if everyone is there. Well, we've got the paratron. What do you think they're after now? Uh, Dr. Miller. They're after me. You? I know it. I feel it. They want me, and they won't rest until they get me. Ah, now, don't you worry, Doctor. I'll assign a man to guard you day and night. Thank you, Mr. Hudson. Thank you. Get everything? Yeah. Our man got the message through to House and he sent one back. Jim Hudson will be up here in the morning. Jim Hudson? I thought you said you shot him and he fell in the river. Did you say in the morning? Yes. Bar. Okay. While you're at it, bring me the tool chest, the detonators, and wire.
You sure that booby trap's gonna work? I'd hate to be in Hudson's shoes when they touch this step. Find his keepers, huh? Whoever finds this is out the keep. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> This morning, Dr. House. That's fine, thank you. Oh, Mr. Hudson, excuse me, but I would like to ask you to do me a favor. You see, I'm so badly in need of clothes and other necessities. I was wondering if you could give me the loan of a car so that I could ride to town. Why, sure. I'll send a couple of the boys with you, though. After what happened last night, you'll need protection. Thank you very much. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a letter of introduction to Mr. Brock. He can fix you up with anything you want. Thank you very, very much. You two fellas stick yourselves out around the house and make sure nobody surprises you. I don't know what you're going in there for. The thief they've cleaned everything out. You can't tell, Bozeman. They may have left a clue around someplace. Look around, Bozeman. See anything, sing out. Uh oh, trap door. I'll bet this leads to those tunnels Dr. House was talking about. Let's take a look. There we are. Back. I think we're getting someplace. Hmm. All the modern conveniences. Should we take a look? Sure. You better stay here. Careful? Why, do you think the place is haunted? <laughs> uh. Looks like a regular cellar to me. So that's the opening to a tunnel, I think. Let's see what's in there. I can't see a thing. Go ask Ruth to bring the flashlight from the car. Oh, Miss Ruth! Jim wants a flashlight. Will you go out in the car and get it, please? All right, Dawson. Jim! Yeah, over here. We'll get used to this dark in a minute. It's like they're all hard and sugar. That was a bore. Looks like Kurtz must be doing a little prospecting on the side. You know, I'd like to have a look at those walls. Let's get these sacks out of here. They may be just a blind. No, oh, don't throw them there. What are you trying to do? Block us in here? Throw them all the way out. That's it. Hey, look at this. It's a wood paneling. 
This might be an entrance. If I go someplace, I'm going to go get an axe. 